what is going on guys in today's video i'm going to be ranking the top five tier 100 skins now remember this is all my opinion your opinion is not going to be exactly the same tell me what you agreed with me in the comments and tell me what you didn't make sure you like the video on to number five for the number five position i'm going to give this to the ice king the Ice King could be obtained by purchasing the Season 7 Battle Pass and reaching Tier 100. He has a few selectable styles, and all around is a pretty cool skin. Then you may be asking, well, why is he so low on this list? It's because how bulky he is. And plus, yes, he's the Ice King, but I don't like the spikes coming out of his head. It just looks weird to me. But the skin is pretty clean. You can make a lot of good combos with it. The styles are also really cool. So yeah, this skin is pretty good. On to number four. I'm going to be giving the number four position to Spider-Man, the newest tier 100 skin. He has a few selectable styles such as the Future Foundation suit, the Symbiote suit, the blue, red, and gold suit. Epic did an amazing job with this skin and is probably the best Marvel skin there is. Now, you might be asking, again, why is it so low if I'm saying only positive things about it? It's just because there are better skins on this list. But Epic all around did an amazing job with the Spider-Man collab, and I hope we see more stuff like it in the future. For the number 3 position, I have given this to Omega. This skin is the one of the OG Battle Pass Tier 100 skins. If you own this skin and you have maxed it out, you are definitely considered an OG grinder. This skin is just incredible. But if you sadly did not play back, then you can also get the Oblivion skin, which is not a Tier 100 skin, but it is the female equivalent of Omega. The purple lights, full armored, you're an OG. So for the number two spot, I have given it to the Black Knight, the first ever tier 100 skin. Well, you unlocked it at tier 80, but in season two, there was no tier 100. It went up to tier 80. So I'm still going to let it be on this list as it was the maxed out skin for this battle pass. Now this skin is incredible. It could have very easily gotten number one, but there was one thing that drew it back and that was no selectable styles. If it would have had selectable styles, it definitely would have been number one, but it sadly didn't. So I think I have a better number one for this list. And for the number one position, give it up, ladies and gentlemen, as it will go to Midas. Midas, for me, is easily the tier 100 maximum for me. This skin has the golden touch, which means whatever gun, grenade, heals, whatever you touch, turns golden. Well, I'm not a thousand percent sure about heals, but that's what I've seen. Now, this skin is incredible. The reason why I, it was not below the Black Knight is because it has so many selectable styles. In the season it came out, Chapter 2, Season 2, you could choose if you wanted to be a Shadow or a Ghost, giving you a slick black outfit if you chose Shadow, or, or a white outfit if you chose Ghost. Both of these styles are incredible. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.